Marumi. You have the service, you don't know whether they will be there or they will not. Yeah. You have a conference, you don't know whether they will be there or, or they will not. That's not humility. Neither is it integrity. Integrity means being dependable. If God says once a year, you must all gather and shine. Everybody, those with problems and those without problems, they would gather and shine. Yes. Manahana, they had serious problems. More problems than you. You don't have a penina in your life, you. Who provokes you every day and tells you you are barren? Me, I have many children. Me, I have a senior said husband. You, what do you have? You don't have a penina in your life. But I'm saying, even if you have a penina in your life, the place to be found is at Shiloh. That's where God will meet you at the point of your needs. I said, that's where the glory cloud will come down. And when the glory cloud comes down, He, the Holy Spirit, He, His presence, does what no doctor can do. He, the Holy Spirit, the manifest glory, the manifest presence of God, does what your mother cannot do for you. He heals wounds which your loving daddy cannot heal. It doesn't matter how much he loves you. He cannot heal those emotional wounds. It's only the presence. I said it's only the presence. It's only the presence of God. So when we talk about the glory cloud, we are talking about emotional healing. When he comes down, he comes to straighten up those that have been walking like this. Bent under with problems. He comes to say, woman, arise. And the woman immediately walked straight. Yes. That's what I sensed was happening yesterday. Many of us were shriveling. Shriveling. Because in the natural, things are tough for everybody. That's the reason you need to come to Shiloh. So when the economic hardships hit, Zimbabwe like they are, when the emotional hardships Hit your marriage the way they did when rebellion breaks out from your children. I, mean, I don't know what your situation is. When you lose your job, when the boss says we have to come down and last in, first out, when, the, when they say it never rains, but pause, one problem after another. Then this member of the family has died in Mashingo. Oh no, then the other one in Shurubi. And you are the breadwinner, so to speak, in the extended family. And you have to be trotting from Mulawai to Cape Town to go and get that other body. And then now the next one in, in Marondia. And then oh, another one in Harani. It never rains, but pause. And let me tell you something. Let me give you this one thing. The Bible says we are in this world but we are not of this world. But that first part tells me, because we are in this world, it is not a perfect world. So trouble will always come. I said trouble will always knock. But when trouble comes, trouble doesn't have to stay. I said trouble must have a shelf life. I said trouble is not your second name. I said trouble is not your last name. Because God has the final say over your life. I say, God has the final say of your name. Not trouble. Yes. Your name is not trouble. Yes. Your name is blessed. Yes. Blessed and highly favored. Yes. Anointed and highly favored. I say, your name is the apple of his eye. Precious in his sight. I say, your name is holy. Righteous. And God's chosen people. A royal priesthood. Yes. I said your name is blessed yes. and not cursed. Yes. Because the curse cannot alight yes. where the curse has no cause. Yes. So give the curse no cause.
to alight and stay. Those generational curses, they don't have to stay. You can draw a blood plum line for them and say, all right, my auntie died unmarried. Now, uh, my guru died unmarried. And so and so died unmarried. And then this one divorced. And then my tete divorced. And then the other tete. In fact, the whole family. None of them, they're either unmarried or they're divorced. Or they have children out of wedlock. That is called a generational case. I said that is called a generational case. But I'm here to say, you don't have to pass it on. I said you don't have to pass it on to your children. Oh, but the father was also a drunkard. The father was abusive to the mother. The father left the mother. The father left the child, the, the, the mother to raise up the children by herself. And you find almost in the whole family, almost in the whole club, clan, it is a pattern. When it is a pattern, you must know that it is a curse. That's the reason you must come to Shiloh. Amen. Because at Shiloh, the glory cloud comes down. I say that Shiloh, once a year, the glory comes down. Amen. And our pastors and leaders, councils, the glory cloud comes down. Amen. On Sunday, after Sunday at your church, the glory cloud comes down. Amen. So Sunday is not the day to do your washing. I said, Sunday is not the day to do thorough cleaning. It's the time to go to Shiloh. I said, it's the time for you to go and be serviced in the presence of the Lord. I said, it's the time for you to go and encounter the glory cloud that can break that generational curse. Where you'll be taught of the Lord. Where you'll not be lied to by these false prophets. That will tell you if you pay $300 and you meet in a hotel room. And then I can sort out that generational case. What are cards you go and you meet a man in a hotel room? Oh, you go you are the one who is paying now for prostitution. Generational curses are broken by Deuteronomy 28. I said generational curses. Read the Bible for yourself. Know God for yourself. Have a growing intimate relationship with God for yourself. Deuteronomy 28 tells me that if you are careful, if, I think I counted the number of ifs just from verse 1 to verse 14. Six times. Deuteronomy 28 repeat. If you are careful to obey. If you obey my commands. If you will hearken to the voice of the Lord. If you will be obedient. Then, God says, will I, God says, set you on high. Then, will I bless you. How? I will bless you. How? Left, right, and center. Verse 1 to 14 says. The Bible tells me that you will be blessed in the city. I hope you are hearing this and taking these scriptures. You will be blessed in the country. So whether you are in Harare or you are in Shamva Mine, or in Shamva Mai, where you have gone to open up your business, like I have instructed you to go and open up your business in the mining towns. That's where the US dollars are. I said, that's where the money is. And when you open up your business there, you will set up a change there. Because you are willing and you are obedient, you will be giving your offering in US dollars Moana. Yeah, Nakurat Zain is hard currency, real money. Because you are willing and obedient. So you will be blessed in the country, you will be blessed in the in the city. Whether you are in Harare, whether you are in Shamba Mine, you are blessed. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. There will be no barrenness in the house. 
I said there will be no miscarriages in the house. There will be no abortions in this house. If we are willing and we are obedient and we speak the same language, structure, spontaneity, you will be blessed. The fruit of your womb. You will be blessed in the fruit of your ground. Money is in the ground. You say you have no money. Look down. Not on this concrete. When you get home, go and look at the soil. That's where money is. You either mine it or you farm it. Money does not come from begging. I said you mine it or you farm it. We taught the honorables, honorable MP here and his lovely wife, the councillor, like said, you know them, mama. And you know they're now, <laughs> he's now an MP. But you know the name eh? from 20 years ago and the councillor. We taught these things from Kingston's house. How many remember? Children's yeah. like, Apple, Apple, Pane, Mining, offices that for my license to go. It's just across Kingston's house. They went. Yeah. And just yesterday they were giving us their testimony. If you are willing and you are obedient, you too, you will eat of the good of the land. Because Psalm chapter 1 says it blesses the work of your hands. Yesterday we were taught that God will meet you at your business. That's where God meets you. No business, we're talking financially. We're talking financially. Financially, you want to break the, 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 the curse of poverty. Have a business. Create a container. We were taught yesterday how to do it, but you were not there. So I won't teach, because that's not my message for the day. That's the reason we come to Shiloh, so that we are empowered financially, we are empowered spiritually, we are empowered emotionally, we are empowered socially, we are empowered mentally. So that instead of walking around like this, beaten down by the sun and the rain, by the conditions in the nation. When you come to Shiloh, the glory cloud comes down. Amen. I said, and his glory comes down. Amen. When his presence, when the praises go up, his presence comes down. Amen. And when his presence comes down, he comes to lift you up. Yeah. While many are saying there is a casting down in this nation, you and I can declare there is a lifting up. Because you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. And yesterday we told you, decree it. Declare it, your solution matrix. Ask your neighbor, what is the solution matrix? I did not solve the things in the matrix. I said solution matrix. You were not there, China. That's why now you don't know what a solution matrix is. You see, you're a business plan, a business a proposal. And people who tell you, Dragon Z. Tell them what you do. So that next time, you come to Shiloh at the right time, at the right place, doing the right thing. This business of popping in, popping in when it is convenient and popping out, you will not be saturated. Because the glory cloud we were taught yesterday, any revival that's not based on the solid word is not a sustainable revival. So you can just pop in and you pop out. Well, like someone, there's a, a five-course meal, and you just go and you pick, you cherry pick. Yes. You just go for the pudding. No fun and Zara can out in a quash. Many are thin spirited because they are not there for the words. So when you say come to Shiloh, when you say come at 7 a.m. from Friday, it's only four days out of how many days has God given you? 365. You can't give God four days. You're too busy for God. And then you are really too busy. And I'm sure you're too busy even to pray. When we say check in, check out, and now they're being legalistic. You heard it from the highest rank. It's called accountability. It's one of our values. Yeah. The Bible says, you are your brother's keeper. Yeah. We're trying to help you 
Because many are in a spiritual coma. They go to church every Sunday, but in a spiritual coma. Spiritual coma, child. I don't know. Yeah. Just a few more breaths to go. But when you come to the house of the Lord, every Sunday, somebody say every Sunday. Every Sunday. And you come to church in time. Tell your husband, sweetie man's husband's in time. Oh, it's the husband's. And it's the husband's that must tell the wives. So tell honey, husband, please, tell me sweet. Yeah, make up your mind. One day, you're not going to be some sanctions, maybe I'm going to go back to you. I pray that the convicting power of the Holy Spirit may come upon you, that she may change and be a godly woman, a woman of godly influence. I don't know if you can change the time. Rada wakarongeka. Our values. Let me finish the blessing for those that are willing and they are obedient. The Bible says you will be blessed in the fruit of your ground, you will be blessed in the heads of your cattle, you will be blessed. Mari iri mumo benemputi. Kwata kava. Tika nzenda ya rade ya ne, ya ne ya rade. Iye shino. Arare, atirare, chichaka mari. Iri kumi. Arare, kuarare, chichaka mari. Ipi mari asho, tira tite. Zoke na ikumusha mundo tenda mombe. That's where the money is. When you need to send your children to school, you just send, you just send one cup. I want every HPMI member and our visitors. By the way, I saw my beloved, beautiful sister there, Sister Pat. Uh, please just stand up so we can greet you and love you. Patricia and Jimmy, I will honor. <laughs> That's my cousin right there, and I'm so blessed you could come. Like, I feel so, so, so blessed. Thank you so much. So all our visitors, this is the word in season. You must buy your own cow. I want you to have a cow. If you are a diaspora, I want you to have a cow. That's what the Bible says. That's where the wealth is. The sustainable wealth. There's nothing in Arabia. Go to the mines, go to the farms. That's where the money is. Buy cattle. Buy two. Kana one. Wondo kwere chesa. Jimbo. And this is what she and I wondo. No, it's Kuriza. Kuriza Mombi. Foods are Mombi. Kuriza Kuriza. Kuriza. Kurisa, you see, I was close. Where do you think it's all to not to Kurisa, Mombe? This is the one that I was born. This is the one that I was born. Where do you think it's not to Okay, so, I'm giving you ideas here. We don't want people that fail to come to church. Because they're saying I have no money. Yeah. The money is where you left it, Kumusha. Tenga Mbuti. Tenga Mbuti too. Yeah. And get your grandmother. Instead of leaving your grandmother with nothing. Hana kana Mbuti. Hana kana chicken. Kana, you know the chicken? What is the chicken? Hana kana roti rana. Tenga Mbuya. Roti rana. A male and a female. Asa nyadzi saa mai wapu. Wuku, Jongwe, Ne, Ne, Tsaketsa. Why is this a kumusha? It's all in the word. And then, that's when I will meet you with my blessing. I will make sure that the one with this chifa, Yakwa, Yifne, 
Shaka, she for you, she said. But if you have nothing, we will release the blessing here, we will release the grace here, and your grace will. I don't know what you know in the book. You know in the Bible. That's why they won't come for Chico. Huh? You're a man for you. After speaking in tongues, go and buy the sheep and the goats and the chickens. Be wise. Passive income. Many streams of income. I'm giving you business ideas. Yeah. I want to talk to you about it. I want to talk to you So blessed shall you be in the fruit of your womb, in the fruit of your uh, 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 produce, uh, of the ground, in the fruit of your heads, your cattle. Yesterday we saw how the fruit of your womb must be blessed. Your children must be blessed. Yes. Said, don't come to church alone. Yes. Don't go to prayer alone without yes. your children. I don't know how to do it. 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 Teach your children the ways of the Lord from a young age. Train them up in the ways of the Lord. Oh, yeah. yeah, like the Levitical families that you know one of the Manuelas. Yeah, together membership class, yes. together CILD, yes. together eh, ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, yeah. 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 Because when other people are serving God, it's not one of the shit you done. That is, we go to no school and go pray. Tika we are going to leaders meeting. Tika we are going to children. We know when we are going to tell us that children are going to shit you done, as if we have nothing better to do. No, it's because we put God first. Somebody say God first, and the glory cloud will come down. It's called divine order, structure. On that note, I feel to pause and ask well wishers. She needs her church to sponsor. She didn't ask me. The mother didn't ask me. The Holy Spirit asked me. We need to sponsor our own. How many dollars are needed? US dollars. Quickly. Huh? 1,600. Okay, I just not I don't know to do But can everybody just keep faith? Minimum. I know there's some that can do more. But minimum. Sponsoring our very own. Selected, handpicked from the College of Music. And she needs to raise the airfares for this a trip. For music. He's been serving the Lord ever since they joined the church. With the mother's support, the father's supporting. Now we need to support them. Amen. A minimum of one dollar or two dollars. US dollar, please, not RTGS transfer bond. Uh, what, what? Can we do that yet? Yes. For our very own. Yes. Amen. So you just give to the mother. Don't give to faith. <laughs> Give the mother, give the mother two dollars minimum. I know many of us can afford my fifty dollars, my hundred dollars, and so on, but I don't want to scare everybody else. So, everybody, so that you become a partaker of the grace in the house. I said, so that you become a partaker of the grace in the house. I said, this is a house that raises champions. We are very clear about our mandate, and I think the testimony is clearly shown. Sure. That our God is able yeah. to lift even you up. Yeah. So what I'm saying, she now take that job when it comes. Let's take it. 
check it. Yes, cuckoo girls. Yeah. I'm very serious. I'm teaching real good here. I'm not going here as I feel the power. I feel the power. She would have gone up here. I'm not going 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 here. I'm Say that is not our portion. To make money. To get some road runner, taste the pana, Kumushakwe. We can supply Dubai. To get some boots, taste the tripan. Eh, but Dubaians, I can just tell us. Yes, you know, we need a thousand goats. We will need 50, we will need 100, we will need 200, we will need you. If we start now, to get to own your marks. Mm, just to get set. Yeah. Queen Mama Rock and Gaza. Yeah. What was the Queen and Gaza? Yeah. Yeah. That is so good. Simbe. A TV must sing them, church. Yeah. And I'm going to go to the town right now. Church. I'm going to go to the town right now. I'm going to go to the town right now. I'm going to go to the town right now. Show me. Show me. It's really... Yeah, but that's him, eh? Yeah, he was always the naughty one in the home. I can say that because he's gone. <laughs> right, so, the blessing that will break the case of poverty. If you're willing and you're obedient, and I'll tell you what you're willing to do, not only the business, but to plant churches. For example, I am going to help our Shiku Children's Church. I'm going to help my beloved uh, a young couple here, Kotoras, establish HPMI Chihuahua. Chihuahua, here we come. I say to Chihuahua, here we come. It's a powerful man of God, this one. He just doesn't know it. He just doesn't know it and you will discover it. So what am I saying? I'm saying wherever you are, we want a church. Mining towns, we want a church. Why? Because that is the reason Jesus died. I say that is the reason Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross. Do you think when we put you water, when we want to push you up, we want you water, when we want to push you up, a nice tent here, you let you go. So that they should go to hell because they have no transport or they have no money to come here. Every Sunday they can experience their own glory cloud. I said every Sunday they can experience the presence of God. Every Sunday they can experience deliverance. Every Sunday they can experience healing. And the same teachings can be cascaded there. The Great Commission is the reason the church was established. So the Great Commission is not just evangelism, or is it? It's not just outreach, is it? It's not just anakazo, or is it? Somebody help me. Winning souls, I think we've been doing well. But is that the Great Commission? Just winning souls, evangelizing, my crusades, and so on. Is that the Great Commission? Some are saying yes, some are saying no, but both of you are correct. Yes, it is fulfilling the Great Commission in the sense that you've started the process. But the Bible says, teaching them to observe. The Bible doesn't say, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. It says teaching them. Somebody say teaching them. There's a certain facility on this phone. There's certain things. You can't use Wi-Fi. Usina will change the settings. Ugo is a Ugo juice a dot. Yeah, per juice a dot. Ekoleji chicha. Chicha kwash. 
It should take us some end. Brick by brick, brick by brick. By the time you get to a certain age, she must all be owning her own houses. I tell you, she also shouts to we take our children upon. So you say, no way. You say, I tell you. Buy your own house. Yeah, if you're on a job, you can get a mortgage. If you're some kind of business, get a mortgage. I say this because when we are not on it is credit. And it is credit. Let me tell you something. <laughs> There's nothing for free. Yeah. Rent it. The difference is that you are uninformed. Uh -uh. I'm 
organizing because she was not organized. But why was I not organized? Because for three nights, we're not sleeping at home. Chichi got the lovely ceremony among the bar. Thank you for joining us online. We trust and pray you've been blessed by the service. Please continue to stay connected with us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, on YouTube, and WhatsApp. If you need prayer, please call or send a message to the number on your screen below.